What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another installment of Huggies Beer Reviews. And today I have something that I picked up the day before yesterday. I'm doing it today just because I can and because I feel like a locker. This is a special beer, um, limited run. It's from Dogfish Head Brewery and it's called My Antonia. It's a Pilsner, or as it says here, it's a continually hopped Imperial Pils. 7.5% um, alcohol by volume. And yeah, I saw this and you know, I love Pilsners, especially hoppy Pilsners, and I haven't had like a big special Dogfish Head beer in quite some time. So I just grabbed it. This was a $10 bomber, but what the hell. Um, I don't have, I couldn't, Google was acting up on my phone, so I said screw it. I don't have my phone, I don't have Beer Advocate. But I just checked on Beer Advocate out of 301 reviews, it gets an A minus. It's an Imperial Pilsner, it's 7.5%. And the story on this beer is that uh, originally it was a collaboration between Dogfish, or at least you know Sam, the, the founder owner of Dogfish, and an Italian brewer brewery. Um, the first uh, versions of this beer were a limited run that came out in Italy, and then Dogfish produced it and it came out here in 2010. Um, I didn't see anything about a 2011 release, so maybe this has been sitting on the shelf for a while. I don't know, but frankly, I don't care. It just looks really cool. Take, take another look at that. It's just, it's cool. Um, and yeah, what it says on the side, it says, This here beer is a logarithmic departure for our ale-centric brewery. A marriage of old world tradition and new world innovation, my Antonia is brewed with Pilsner malt and continually hopped with a blend of Noble and West Coast hops. Brewed and bottled by Dogfish Head Craft Brewery in uh, Milton, Delaware. So that's the skinny of it. It's a hoppy pilsner. I got my big old polymer pilsner glass. Got an opener. It's the regular dogfish cap that you get on the 60 minute. I have some of these, so I'll just pop it right off. Oh, that is a smoky beer. All right. Joe D would love this beer. This thing is smoky as hell. All right. Getting right to it. Again, I know I've been running long on a lot of my videos lately, so I'm going to try to keep this one short. Ooh, getting a lot of head on this. I might have to take some time and let that head settle, but look at that. And it was kind of a sloppy pour. In a narrow glass, if you pour sloppy, you get that. Narrow glasses are not as forgiving. But it's hazy. It's not like, there's not a lot of sediment, it's not like an unfiltered beer, but there's definitely a haze going on there. And pretty good for loggerhead, I mean, it's frothy. And you can smell the hops. Definitely. Let me see if I can top this off a little. Oh, ah, crap, this is gonna be a mess. All right, let me just let it settle, fuck it. Yeah, man, just, I mean, what, what can I do, you know? I love a good hoppy pilsner. I saw this. I had some time today. I said, whatever, man, I, I got to do this today. Um, you know what? Screw it. Ooh, a little bit of lemongrass. Hmm. It smelled kind of... Like kind of like that lemon grassy wheat beer smell, wit beer smell. I got that for a second there. Hmm, not wit beer, but like a saison kind of lemon grassiness. Yeah. All right. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm digging in. Screw it. Screw the head. It's big. If you're used to drinking lagers, and I mean, spring, summer, I've been drinking a lot of Noble Pills, you know, so I've been drinking a lot of Pilsners, and this, just when it hits you, it's a hint more alcohol, there's a hint more, a hint, it was more than a hint, but there's a little more alcohol, a little more body than your typical Pilsner. So right away you can tell it's a bigger, a bigger beer, that 7.5, even though it's not like burning alcohol or boozy, you can note it, you can note that it's there a lot more so than a 5% regular Pilsner but it's tasty.
not a lot of malt across the middle. Up front, a little bit, and more so towards the back end, you get lemongrassy, earthy, and slightly citrusy hop. But it's not so much an orange or a grapefruit citrus, it's more of a, of a lemon citrus. I guess that kind of goes with that lemongrass flavor. But I mean, it's good. It's got a good bite to it, good bit of bitterness, good bit of, a little bit of resinous carbonation by it. And I've got it kind of cold. As it warms up, I can tell that there will be more malt coming out across the middle. The malt body will show more. But this is clean. This is smooth. This is very drinkable, even at 7.5. Matter of fact, this is so drinkable that you have to be careful if you get a bomber of these at 7.5 because you'll down it like nothing. You know, crisp, cool, refreshing, tasty. Just wash it all down, and then you realize the 7.5 kind of hit you. So be careful if you come across it. But uh, I'm not going to drag on any further. Um, I think this is a winner from Dogfish Head as far as, as far as a limited release and kind of like a good hoppy imperial pilsner. If you like like a saison, like, like that lemon grassy kind of dry tartness, this has a lot of those qualities. Again, the citrus is lemony. It's kind of dry. It's really refreshing. It's really crisp. It's really good. All things considered, glass full. Hoggy says glass full. Hoggy says buy it if you find it. A really good Imperial Pilsner. So Dogfish Head, my Antonia. Thumbs up. Glass full, and I'm out of here. See you later, guys. Cheers.